Martha, good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm good, teacher. What about you? Here, you know, I am fighting with one mosquito. Oh, my God. The <laughs> racket, teacher. <laughs> Actually, it just sting me in my chest or my face, man. Oh, this my God. Animal is. <laughs> so, how are you? I'm good. A little tighter, but I am ready for the class, teacher. Here. Why? You don't do anything. Come on. <laughs> yeah, it's a little tighter. <laughs> what time did you finish your schedule today? Well, really, today was my day off. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Tell me. What was the but, deal today? What did you do? Well, I... I did uh, many things for relatives. At, uh, I went to the airport for uh, my relative. And uh, the trip is uh, very tired, but all okay, teacher. Yeah, sometimes. Those trips, I mean, long drives are stressful, right? Yeah, <laughs> but it's okay. The trip is relaxed, but okay. a little tighter. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine that. Well, that happens to me because I'm the only one who drives. Well, I used to be the only one who drives. But now I'll get my son to help me. Oh, excellent. On my trips. <laughs> yeah, that helps a lot. But you know, uh, the only problem is that my wife is a bit scary. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> yeah, she is. She gets Oopsie. scared when, when he drives. Because oh. he's new at driving, you know. Ah, uh, yeah. And in my case, I am Happen. old at, well, I am old at everything. <laughs> yeah, happening. <laughs> yeah, that happens. That happens. I know, I know. Come on, Marta, you were supposed to tell me, no, teacher, you are young. Come on. <laughs> it was just sad. No, teacher. <laughs> it's a thing about other things. <laughs> Marta, always a pleasure to have you in my class. Thank you very much. You're for welcome, being here. teacher. Thank you. Walter, hello, Walter. Hello, teacher. How are you? Oh, man, everything, everything fine, teacher. That's what I like of Walter. Walter is says, ah, cool, no problem. <laughs> I'm a teacher, <clears throat> oh, teacher. <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I'm happy to start the class. For me, it's good and always and uh, start the class a light a light class the english and not yeah, that's good that's a nice attitude okay thank you and let me tell you teacher and what i had a uh, very delicious uh uh dream okay. and dinner dinner excuse me really okay. What did you have for dinner? Uh, avocado and okay. sandwich. Perfect. And with a tocino. Bacon. Bacon. Oh, oh, delicious, teacher. It's delicious. And bacon. Yeah, I can for imagine. Me. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I like it. It's not that good for your for your heart but it's nice <laughs> and four and four sandwich teacher <laughs> oh oh my gosh four of them you eat a lot <laughs> oh yes 
<risa> Rompiendo la dieta un poco. Yeah, I can tell, I can tell. Well, but I mean, once in a while it's okay. You know, it's not every day, right? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm not always. Walter, welcome to the class. Thank you very much for sharing with us. You're welcome, teacher. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Nicolas, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, how are you? Good evening, everybody. Fine, thank you, teacher. And you, what? I'm just fine, just fine, you know. Okay. Here, a little bit tired, but that's normal, you know. Ah, yes, yeah, fine. I, I am... Yes, tell me, tell me, tell me. Yes, I am uh, uh, a little, a little tired. Yes. If, if we, teacher, do you? When do you go you, back to work? Uh, Thursday, Thursday. This coming Thursday? Tomorrow is the- uh, the, the last the, day? The last day, correct. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the last day. Uh, teacher, do you remember, do you remember the, Yesterday, I I have an interview with a, a institution. Yes, you told me. You told me that you had okay. an interview. Okay, well, my, tomorrow is other interview in Spanish with oh. other, in Spanish with with a company of a North American. Okay, North American company. North American company. Okay, tomorrow is is the new interview. I is espero. I hope. I hope. Uh, I hope good uh, good answers. Okay. Well, yeah, we hope everything turns out okay for you, my friend. Okay. And welcome hey. to the class. Hey, thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Let's see. <laughs> Jose Wilfredo, how are you? Jose Wilfredo Ayala. Hi, teacher. Hello, mister. How are you? I'm really fine, teacher. I'm really apologize, but I have uh, some problem with my internet connection since yesterday. That's why I'm the and answer to you. No problem, no problem. I understand it. Everybody's having them. That's normal, you know. It's Janita's fault, but don't worry. We're going to talk later, okay? Welcome to the class, Jose Wilfredo. Nice having you. Thank here. you, teacher. Okay, Perfect. thank you. Teacher. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Erwin, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Um, I'm very good, and you? I'm just fine, just fine. Uh, come on, Erwin. You and me got a problem. You never remind me of the stuff I ask you to remind me, and I don't remember on my own. <laughs> okay. Um, you should to remind that... me tomorrow. Remind me okay. tomorrow, please. I, please, I so would tell try me. to do it. <laughs> How was your day? Uh, very interesting. Um, uh, yesterday we were visiting family, our family, uh, my wife, my wife's family. Um, okay. My in-laws, my in-laws. My in-laws? Yeah, in-laws. Okay. Let me text it for you. Okay. Let me text it for you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. You got my in-laws. Let's see. Hold on, oh, oh, where is it? Okay. In lots, okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, just uh, let me check on something, just let me check on something. I'm not sure, let me check. I need to, uh, I need Sometimes I need to see the, the yeah, canvas together, together. Sometimes I need to see the word written in order to, 
to check it out if it's okay or not. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So and then, when you then refer you... when you refer to the in-laws is together. Okay. Join. Okay. Okay. Well, they they live near to El Sunsal. So oh. we went to the beach yesterday and there were there was a beautiful beach yesterday. Wow. Really, really, really? beautiful. And we we wait for the sunset and after that we return to their their house. Okay. Well, that's cool. But very very good. And today when I, when when we decide to to return to our house, um, my car was broken uh, without battery, so we will need to we 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 will need to um, call to the mechanic, and it was a, a electrical problem. Okay, well. That happens, you know. Car problems sometimes are like that. Yeah, but I'm, I'm here uh, at home, uh, late but happy to, to, to be here. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much for sharing with us. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Anna Claudia, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening, how are you? I'm just fine. How's tricks? So far, so good. I'm okay. My day okay. was kind of, well, it was a kind of busy day, but but I like it. I like it. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, and tell me, what time did you finish your shift? Recently, I just hung up uh, like uh, half an hour ago. I had, mm. since yesterday, we uh have been like a um, lot of meetings with uh, other colleagues or the other bosses can i how do you say the plural of boss boss bosses. 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 bosses oh okay with other bosses i feel happy and i feel uh, like confident with me because yes well in one meeting yesterday i had to they've been asking they were asking a lot of questions, but I used this word, my man underwent surgery. And I felt like, oh, <laughs> the word that you just <laughs> teach me last week. And I feel proud of myself because I feel better and confident while we are having uh, all these kind of meetings because I compare uh, some other colleagues I have here they are like in the basic uh, sentences and, and, and you feel different. And, and the other one who is listening to you, they know that you are using different words. It's like a different communication. And I feel, yeah, of course. Uh -huh, and I felt proud of me yesterday because yesterday we had four meetings. Today we just had three and we had to complete some trainings these uh, two days um, they uh, were no they had been busy days had been can I use they had been yeah they have busy. been busy days okay they have been two busy days yeah because you don't know if tomorrow is going to be the same remember that you use the present perfect in order to talk about something an action that started in the past in the past and it's not finished yet it's not finished yet yes because the day is not in ah, okay. okay yeah it could be it could be an ongoing situation and mm -hmm. not necessarily happen in the moment that you are expressing the sentence correct correct that okay. is always my confusion or those <laughs> sentences but um uh -huh. Mm -hmm. uh, that had been my 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 daily task, my daily days, and I okay. feel very proud of that because you know the difference when somebody uh, a native is listening to you, and and they change also the type of conversation they having with you, and that makes me feel good. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and the only thing is this, that if you, as you said, I mean, if they start checking out that we are using a higher level of vocabulary, they start doing it, they start like speaking like more normal for them, right? Aha, uh -huh, exactly, exactly, exactly. That's the thing. But that's always a good experience. Yes. And in okay. your case, as you are learning, I mean, it's kind of the best of experiences when you can, when you can practice with native mm -hmm. speakers, when they recognize your level of English and they start mm -hmm. like, a, like adapting the conversation to that level. And actually, even though if it's not their idea, they are helping you. Exactly, exactly. That that's what I felt yesterday. That was my perception. Mm -hmm. oh, that's great. That's great. Mm -hmm. Well, Miss, thank you. <laughs> you were the teacher. <laughs> thank you, teacher. Rebecca, hello, Rebecca. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Uh, I hear you so far away. Sorry, I. Oh, sorry, I'm, I I'm using my Microsoft, my microphone of my head. Oh. Headphones. Yes, I'm, I'm still uh, walking to my house. So. Yeah. Okay, then we're gonna <laughs> talk later. We're gonna talk later. Okay, just let me know when you're ready. Okay. Thank you. Thanks to you. Let's see, Janira. Hello, Janira. Let's see. Well, there's Ambar. Ambar, hello. Hello, teacher. I'm fine. What about you? I'm just fine. How's business? Uh, well, my day was good too. Because... Oh, really? Sales. Yes. That means sales. Whenever you say my day was good, that means sales. Yes, I I could close three sales. Sales, sorry. Excellent. You just used the perfect expression for that. You close some sales. Excellent. Excellent. How many you said? <laughs> sorry, sorry, three. How many? Three sales. How many sales? Oh wow, that's a lot, right? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. thanks God. <laughs> and you are all you are closer to your goal yes uh, how do you say me faltan dos i am missing i am missing i am missing two sales for my goal oh that's nice we are i mean it's february the 8th cool yes i need to close my goal uh, soon because uh, the next week uh, are my vacation. Oh, we are my. my vacation. Yeah, you are right. You are right. You gotta rush it. Well, let's hope everything turns out okay for you, my dear. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Okay, let's see. Now, 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 now. Mr. Osorio, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Um, very well, teacher. Okay, tell me, how's everything? How's the job? Uh, uh, the job is uh, the usual, teacher. Very busy day uh, because I'm cover a position of one of my coworker. And but you're not covering the position of one coworker called Wilfredo, right? Yes. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. So whenever you connect to the class and Wilfredo says, oh, here at home, resting. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> oh. <Don't be> sure. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> yes, this, and now yeah, when I, right? I, when I came at home, yeah. uh, my wife had the idea to cook a, uh, roast beef and it was fun because i helped her and uh, then 
we cooked a live uh, vegetables and some potatoes and how do you say cebollines needs teacher food 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 man you always get me with the food because uh, the problem is that they got a they got a name I mean, it's not chives. 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 Yeah, but uh, yeah, it must be chives. You can say chives or another. Another is a uh, little longer. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hold on. Scallion. Scallion. Let me see the chat. Let me, let, me, let me let me text it. Okay, let's see. Chives and scallion. Scallion. Uh, it's the same teacher. Yeah. Ah, uh, well, interesting. And some potatoes, scallions, and tomatoes, and, and I had the opportunity to drink something a little refreshing to check with the meat. <laughs> oh, really? That's cool. <laughs> yes, teacher. and we had a fun talking family. It was a very, very... This, this stressing teacher. Uh, so I have a, a clear mind to for the class teacher. Okay. Well, it's good cool to know that we are going to take advantage <laughs> of that. Welcome to the class. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Roxana, hello. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. So far, so good. good. How's everything? My How's everything. homework? Did you finish your homework? Mm, no. <laughs> I have a lot of a, a lot of uh, case in my job, and I have to support to my to my son. You know, they no have a lot of in this case, no support, just help. Yeah, okay. I need to help her. Help he, him. Sorry. Him. It's a boy. Him. And yeah, and I need to uh, prepare some PDF to send to the platform. And you know, it's time. The same will happen to me next week. Bye. Okay. Well, this week uh, for me is uh, it's I think that it's complex because uh, I was uh, talking the last time that I have vacation next week. So I need to check in a lot of things before that. Oh, yeah. Roxana, yeah. don't disconnect from my classes. <laughs> I, I will connect, look, teacher. I will look for you. Yes, teacher, I will do it. And I need to help to my son too, you know. Yeah, because I mean, if I will give you the speech from Liam Neeson's speech on the movie, you know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, if you disconnect from my class, I will. <gasps> no. <laughs> I need to organize my schedule, but. I think that it's the it's the same hour. I will to travel to Mexico, and I remember that the last time that I uh, looking for the hour is the same time. The time, the time. Yeah, it's it, it's the same. So I try to organize my schedule, and I will connect. I promise. Uh huh. Uh huh. I hope so. 
Yeah, because something that you must be aware of is of the fact that, uh, you know, in this, the problem of losing one of these levels is that first, they don't let you uh, 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 re enroll again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the other one is that even if they let you, I mean, there's no groups. I mean, right now, right now the company is attending just the, there's just two in this schedule. Well, in these groups, in this group, mm -hmm. because there's another bunch of guys that are studying, but in this one, uh, according to the dates, mostly the groups related to these dates, uh, there's just one group that is higher, this one, and then they are beginners. Okay, okay. I get so, it. You get it, yeah. right? Yeah, I know. So be good, be good. Always, as usual. <laughs> Roxana, a pleasure to have you here. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, guys, just let me do something. Okay, perfect. Francisco, hello, Francisco. Let's see, Francisco is working right now. Are you Francisco? Hello, teacher. No, in this moment, ah. I'm in my house. But uh, for me, this is the, 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 short, the short rest because uh, I am, uh, I went, uh, to work in the morning, but uh, tomorrow uh, I am going to uh, start the night shift. So uh, uh, for me, it's just a, 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 short, a short rest. <laughs> okay, because you went to work today in the morning and tomorrow you start yes. the night shift. In, in, in the night shift. For me, it's just a, a, little, a little rest. <laughs> Yeah, your schedule is the craziest thing ever for me. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I never know when you are home, when you are working, because it's so weird. How, how do you say eh, la? Nosotros decimos una una frase así bien seguida de que es perder la noción del tiempo. How do you say that in English? Yeah, teacher? you lose the sense of time. Lose the, the sense. The sense of time yeah actually the most proper will be the perception the perception of time that would be the most correct but Hello. Hello, teacher. Uh, so, uh, and tell me, teacher, what time I, are I, you I, going? What time are you going to wake up tomorrow? Then tomorrow, uh, 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 hold on, you got me. Uh, you got me thinking. You got me thinking. Just give me a second. I okay. had it. I had it. I had it. Oh yeah, sure. This is what you want. A little struggle okay. time. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but that phrase was like turning around. Uh, okay, teacher. Uh, this is the, the, this sentence is the, the more, the more common way yep. to say that. Yep. Uh, okay, teacher. In, in, uh, for me, this uh, happened. Uh, how do you say seguido or, or hmm. this? regularly? Regular. You can say regularly. Okay, regularly. If you are speaking in this level, but uh, you can say it like this. 
it happens to me quite often. Quite often. Okay. Quite, quite often. Quite often. Quite often. Imagine, yeah. Imagine that the T becomes an R. Quite often. Quite often quite. means uh, bastante a menudo. Ah, okay, teacher. This is uh, the new world for for me. <laughs> Oh, well, that's good. We got more vocabulary and all your classmates are getting, well, some of them perhaps know it, but we're getting more vocabulary. It's always good. So whenever you say quite often, you are saying uh, bastante menudo, muy a menudo. Regular. Okay. okay, teacher. Yeah, if you say regularly, is the same idea, but uh, as I was talking to Ana Claudia, if you remember, it's a matter of level of English, okay? If you say regularly, it's okay, but your level of English is like this. If you say quite often, you are in this level. If you say, oh, I can sometimes I lose track of time, you are speaking at higher level, okay? Why? Because it's not that lose track of time is formal, but it's uh, very, very used colloquially. People use it all the time, okay? Okay, sure. Is this, this this way is, is more uh, close to more. the native English? Yeah, native, native. Yes, native. Okay, yes, teacher. That's that's actually the way they speak. I mean, there are certain things like I mean, we use a lot the the, the uh, we use a lot the how are you, but remember that how are you is formal English. And I mean, in everyday speaking, people don't go like, how are you? In everyday English, people go like, how is it going? How's everything? Yes, yes. Okay. yes. It, it also depends on the context. Yes, the, 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 yeah. the, the context and depends on the, the people. <laughs> the, the person. Hey guys, did I get the attendance? No, right? No. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Please. I was thinking that me... you will be taking uh, the same attendance <laughs> at 9 p.m. <laughs> oh, you are so evil sometimes. <laughs> you know, I was this close of starting, like, uh, healing myself. Okay, Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. Erwin Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Erwin Francisco López Rojas. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorte. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Nuria Elizabeth López Perlera. Rebeca Yasmín Montarosa Figueroa. Present teacher. Roxana Ibet Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present. Present teacher. Marcela Noemí Batres Monterrosa. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Okay, perfect. Let's Present see. teacher. Present. Hola, hola. Nicolás. Hola, hola. Nicolás Mendes. Hold on, just give me a second. Nicolás Atilio Mendes Granados. 
Yes. And yeah. Did I mention Maria Alejandra Barrientos Romero? Yes, teacher. I say present. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present, teacher. Mm. Yeah, you know. It's my age, I guess. Sorry, Marta, I haven't said your name. Don't worry. Yeah, because Marta was complaining, you know, almost throwing rocks to me. It's not true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, let's continue. Let's continue. I still got some minutes and I need to take advantage of the one on one conversation. So, Maria Alejandra, hello. Hello, teacher. How's it going? I see, I stay here. <laughs> but I think. Okay, and tell me, how was your day? What did you do today? Oh. <laughs> I worked very hard. <laughs> what time did you wake up? Tell me. I wake, I woke up at 5.30 maybe? Because 5.30. Uh -huh. <laughs> because um, I I I do I pick up at my mother in the morning uh -huh. and I then pick my mother up. I pick my mother up in the morning and then go to my granny house because my mother in her. Uh, Make up pupusas in the morning. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, and my, mm, my papel, my paper. <laughs> my role? My role is a chauffeur. As a driver. <laughs> okay. Yes, okay. he's a driver. And then I stay all the morning in my granny house, in my... A, Lunch hour. Uh -huh. uh, go, return to the apartment and stay here in the afternoon. Okay, so that's the only reason why you woke up <laughs> early. Yes, but I woke up, woke up early. Um, I think that it started in December, maybe. And continue oh. with the routine because my mother changed the, the place to make a pupusa. Uh -huh. Oh, the location. Uh -huh, the location. And I, I have to move. <laughs> okay, well, you know, it's always good to, to help your family, right? Yes. I try to help. Excellent, excellent. Well, thank you very much, Maria Alejandra, and welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. Let's see. Stephanie. Hello, Stephanie. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm, I'm here in my home because today was my free day. <laughs> okay, remember, you can say my free day or you can say my day off. My day off. Okay, today what did you do today? Me? So I woke up until 10 a.m. <laughs> and I and I and I watch um, Netflix a new series that calls All of Us Are Dead. It's about zombies. 
I, okay. I watched six episodes so and those episodes uh, during around 45 no 45 minutes so I lose a lot of time there <laughs> and then I start playing some video games on my cell phone and I just ate my lunch and my dinner most of them I think I didn't do anything <laughs> okay now say with me episode episode Episode. Episode. Okay. Episode. Perfect. Episode. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Mr. Guardado, hello. How are you? Hi, teacher. So weird to call to call you Mr. Guardado. Hello, Wilfredo. How are you? Hey, I'm sorry, you? sorry. You're doing good. Of when course. do you go back to work? Yesterday I start again. Oh, really? Yes. How would, how do you feel uh, now? I, because uh, two week, uh, I stayed two week at home, but I rest a lot. That's nice. Yes, yes. And when do you have your regular vacations? Um, the first and in April 10th. Oh, really? Yes. That's nice. You know what's funny? My 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 sister-in-law, she's got, she's got, uh, she got, actually, she got COVID. And really? the funny thing is this, they sent her home, right? So she, her quarantine ended a Friday. And the following Monday started her vacation. Nice. So she's been home like for a month. <laughs> and, and, and what does uh, she feel? The, does oh, no, she no, have... She's cool. She's cool. No problems at all. It's a symptom. Yeah. She just had symptoms for uh, like two days. And she got, uh, she, she got or got? Got. She got uh, 15 days to rest. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah, that was cool for her. Yeah. I can yeah, imagine. She, she got them 15 days and then she's got her regular vacations. So it's like, wow, nice, no? Nice, nice. When we can rest a lot, it is no problem, teacher, because uh, it is necessary. Yes. yes that's for sure yes but i i felt uh so nice teacher because um, for christmas i i i couldn't be with my family uh, all vacation only i i came back from the united states 28 i remember december 28 and then but uh only by day, I I could spend time with them, but now I have fifteen days to to spend with them. Okay, well, nice. Welcome to the class, Mister. Thanks for sharing with us. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. Okay, let's see guys. Well, we got a word today in the manual. We got some things to cover and let me show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna do some exercises, a little bit of explanation. Then we're going to have a conversation, some questions. Okay, let me get it ready for you. Let's start working like this. Here we go. There we are. Okay, today we are going to talk about the term third party logistics before. Okay. What is third party logistics before? If you check out here, 
it's this outsourcing simply when you say uh, the the three pls three pls you are talking about third party logistics as simple as that okay and when you talk about third party what you're talking is that companies outsource some services or some activities and that's quite normal nowadays right so we got here an exercise we have to do a pair work number the steps to outsource a third party logistic provider i will send you to the groups and what you are going to do is the following you are going to discuss which is the correct order for these steps these are the steps for doing the activity so you will have to tell me which is the correct order okay let me just send you a picture of it so you can get it we always do it like that okay. and you're gonna be working in groups actually the the exercise called for for three for two for pairs but uh, some of you are going to be working three per group just let me check it out. oh my gosh what happened Okay, groups are created. Four minutes. That's enough for this exercise. Hurry up, guys, because we got a lot to work today. See everybody's working in them groups. Let's go check some. A, I oh, I question. mean, so <laughs> you are reading the page uh, from the yeah, yeah, okay. but but it's true. It's true. The the second one is develop a detailer. Okay, so that is yeah. the second one. What I wanted to do is um understand mm -hmm. at all what means the first one do an internal assessment of your current and future needs teacher yes are you there yes <laughs> i am we know you are <laughs> teacher okay. will this be a, i remember the previous courses with so how to make a i don't remember if in english is the same word f-o-d-a for no, yeah, you it, saw it. Just, we saw it's it on not like that. No, yeah, it's, it's, so what is the meaning of do an internal assessment of your current and future need? It's not like a photo. An, an inter, yeah, 
Yeah, it's the same, but uh, let me remember. How do we call it in English? I don't remember, too. <laughs> you know what happened, Marcelo? Uh, 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 listen to me, listen to me. I don't remember either. I don't remember either. Okay, I don't it's remember negative. either. Teacher, now, now that I have the opportunity, I mean, I, I used to think that the, the correct is me neither, but now I get confused because me neither, which is the meaning of neither? In okay, no. if neither, if I don't neither like it, I don't like it either. Tampoco. Okay, yes, listen, 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 listen. You cannot I use double like... negative, right? In a sentence, girls, let me speak. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay it goes like this look, uh, I can't play the piano okay i okay. can't play the piano either neither can i listen if you if you want to say tampoco at the beginning you use neither if you are going to use it at the end of a negative sentence, you use either. Mm -hmm. Okay? But remember that you gotta use the tense used by the first person who expressed the, the negative idea statement, okay? Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, swim with sharks. Neither will I. I wouldn't either, okay? So uh, the expression, the common expression, me neither, is incorrect. No, it is correct. Mm. But uh, yeah, with neither. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Girls, the situation is this. Uh, me neither is the, the easy way out. You use mm. it for all of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's used. A lot of people use it. Oh, me neither. Mm -hmm. And you are just saying yo tampoco. Okay. I mean, you can use it and it's completely okay. Just that if you use the longer structure, I mean, in a formal conversation, I wouldn't advise to use me neither. In a formal conversation, I would advise to use the, the whole structure. But in an informal conversation, yeah, sure, why not? Me neither. It's okay. And it applies for any tense. Or when in doubt, when do do that, me neither will save you. Just do not get too attached to it, okay? Because it's not the only way to say it. I mean, even though it works for all, doesn't mean that you gotta use it all the time, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Yeah. On the other hand, I remember I found a word. There was a, a previous course, Marcela, where we saw how to make a swap, S-W-O-T. So, and we made it for a product. It was amazing to understand that because just imagine. Let me, and I guess, teacher, this is the question, the first thing here, right? Yeah. Mm. Okay. I'm okay. sorry, ladies. I need to go check in another group. Okay. Go, okay. go, go, go. Have you heard? Yeah. Yeah. Hello, teacher. Um, How well, are you? Hello. I switched to another device right now, and I guess that uh, my connection improved. <laughs> Tell me, guys. You were calling for me, right? Okay. When, yep. I don't know if you can hear me. Yes? Yeah, and I can see. Okay. Okay, perfect. Here. Okay, perfect, teacher. Uh, just to know, when you were give us the, the, the information or the instructions, about this uh, exercise, uh, I was switching to the other device. To, okay, to... you are just going to number 
number the steps to outsource a third party logistic provider. So you are doing exercise two. It's like oh, this. Oh, okay, like, okay. Like this one. Uh, number one is do an internal assessment of your current and future needs. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. 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 I think we, we, we were a little loose because we were talking about the, the front class. Yeah, oh, we were discussing about this. One. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I will okay, ask perfect, all of teacher. them to you, Rebecca. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> we're going to hurry up right now. So numbers, the step of sourcing third party logistics. All the group. Uh, okay. mm -hmm. Teacher, I don't know. <laughs> what? Uh, I think with Wilfredo, the last is number one. Yes, that is, that's it. And the first is, is the second. Yep. And evaluate is third. I don't know. Ah, uh, teacher. Come on, you got them. <laughs> you want them all? <laughs> but I do. <laughs> uh, Okay, guys, let's see. Let's do the exercise together. This is going to be quite easy. Okay, Rebecca, number one, tell me which one is it? Excuse me, teacher, what was the question? Number one. Okay, the number one is do an internal assessment of your current and future needs. Okay, perfect. Number one. Oops. Number one, thank you. Let's see, number two goes to... Hmm. Uh, Martha, number two. Okay. 
Number two is develop a detailed plan for the trivial selection process. Okay, number two. Excellent, thank you. Now let's see, Nicolas, number three. Number three is review the checklist for 3 pl capabilities. 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 Perfect. And that means that number four is this one. Let's see, Roxana, please read number four. Okay. Uh, evaluate, interview, and select. Okay, Roxana, interview, interview. Interview. Yeah. The T okay, after letter N, no sound, okay? It doesn't sound. Repeat, please. T after N doesn't have a sound. In this case, okay. interview. Interview. Like in Maldives. So, just in this internet. case. Listen to me. Internet. Internet. Okay. Internet. We say internet. We say internet. Okay. Okay. Interview. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's see. Now I'm going to clear this because next oh, exercise. Sorry. Oops, sorry. Next exercise. Building vocabulary. Match the terms related, related to logistics to their meanings on the right. Okay. We got here transportation, private fleet management. We got freight claim insurance, cargo insurance, and small package services. Well, the part of the insurance, I know that it's going to be easy for some people. Let's see. Okay, guys. There you go. I gave you the picture of it. I'm gonna send you to the groups. You will have again for minutes. Uh, oops, I'm sorry. What am I doing? My questions must be like this. Let's see. Groups are open. Please jump in.
Nuria, you go to group number. There you go. Yes. No. So, <laughs> it's, it's confused, ah. teacher. Uh -huh. I thought you were saying that because I came here. <laughs> yeah, but uh, friend, <laughs> we have two insurance here. So, okay. Uh, I don't, teacher, we, okay. Okay, I don't, we don't understand what does mean private fleet management. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. How can, can you explain Let's check it out. That? Okay. What did you say? Private fleet. Private fleet management. I, oh, it's a I function it that allows companies which rely to remove or minimize the risk associated with vehicle investment. I mean, if you outsource the, the fleet management, la flota, that's fleet. And it refers oh. in this case to the trucks you use, okay? To the vehicles. Uh, only uh, only with the vehicles. Well, it depends uh. if you send everything by cheap, it's also a fleet. Mm. Actually, the term was first used for chips. Oh, but nowadays, okay, okay. if you use it for for the 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 whole amount of cars, trucks, motorcycles, everything that you use uh, that belongs to the company, it's the fleet, la flota. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Okay. And so private fleet so... management. Oh, it's okay. a function that allows companies. Which we like to remove or minimize the risks associated with vehicle investment. Remember, if your company owns the vehicles, uh, they have to pay insurance, they gotta pay the drivers, the maintenance, you spend a lot of money in parts, okay? okay but okay. if you outsource, I mean, you just pay the other company. They are supposed to do all that job. Okay, okay. Right? Yes. Okay, okay. Catch. Let's see the third one. Freight claim insurance. Yes. Reclamo. For me, it's a legal demand by a shipper to career for fi financial comp compensation. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think yes, because say loss or damage of a shipment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And cargo insurance provides protection against again. all risk against, against all risk of physical loss of damage to freight 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 or freight what is the correct pronunciation freight or freight 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 okay okay and what does it mean that word teacher freight hey hello <laughs> hi good night <laughs> good night hello. Good evening. Okay, la carga. El flete, okay? Ah, okay. Freight is flete. Thank you. Okay, and when then we have the small, small, pack, small package service. In, in, I don't know how can I say it. Envelope in, envel, envelope in, como? I, I don't know. Envelopes, envelopes is the correct pronunciation. I'm sorry. Envelope. No sé. Envelopes. Envelope. I don't know. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where are you? In the... We are in number five. 
in the smoke. second uh -huh, uh -huh. Envelopes, envelopes 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 <laughs> envelopes envelopes okay. or package shipments that weigh less than 150 <laughs> envelopes or package shipments that weigh less than 150 pounds Okay, uh, that no. phrase is used to describe what? Pound. Small Thanks. package services, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. The five? Fifth. The fifth, sorry. <laughs> the fifth. Okay, so we have already finished, I think. I wrote. I have. I have two, five, four, three, one. Three, one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just let me. Okay. Okay. Save what I did on this picture and then. Okay. Finish. Two, five, four, three, one. Sorry? Two, five, four, three, one, right? Yes, yes. Okay. I do. We done. Okay. Oh, you're done, ladies? Yes, yes. Perfect. Everybody's coming back in a few seconds. Let's check it out. See everybody's coming back now. Perfect. Guys, let me get the second attendance quite fast, please. Uh, Amber Eli Alfaro. Present. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Erwin Francisco López Rojas. Present teacher. Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Present. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Nuria Elizabeth López Perlera. I'm here, teacher. Present teacher. Thank you, Nicolás. Thank you, Nuria. Rebeca Jasmine Montarrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present, teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Quedaron que no van a durar para mañana.
Marcela Noemí Batres Monterrosa. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, guys, let's continue. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Erwin, number one, transportation, please tell me. Okay, transportation, the physical process of transport, um, the physical process to transporting commodities and merchandise and cargo. Merchandise goods and cargo. Perfect, thank you. Francisco, number two. Private fleet management. Francisco, you got it? No, this show. Yeah, number two, please. Fuel fleet manage uh, is uh, the first one, the function that the load companies uh, which would like to remove or minimize the risks associated with vehicle investment. Okay, associated, 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 associated. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Number two. Number three. Freight claim insurance. And Barbara, what you got? Uh, maybe is a legal demand by shipper to a career for financial compensation for a loss or damage of a ship shipment. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you. Stephanie, number four, cargo insurance. Cargo insurance for, provides protection against all risk of physical okay. loss or damage to freight. Perfect. Number four. And number five says small package services. Let's see. Uh, Ana Claudia, would you mind reading it for us? Uh, the, the small packages services is um, envelopes or package shipments that weight less than 150 pounds. Or... You are completely right. Thank you very much. Envelopes. Mm -hmm. Remember, guys, as she pronounced it, envelopes. Envelopes, okay. exactly. Remember that this is a noun and it's also a verb. Don't forget it. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's see. Next activity. Okay, now discussion. We have to discuss the following advantages of hiring a 3PL provider. There are a third party logistic services, improve customer satisfaction with accurate order fulfillment and on-time delivery. 3PLs reduce current cost. Cost management is still the number one priority for cheapers. And 3PLs often offer an advantage across the cost of their total operations. 3PLs reduce risk. This includes a range of risks like union issues, environmental risk, and supply chain performance risk. Okay, let's see. Now, in this case, I need you to please, but please guys, as a homework, I need you to tell me at least one advantage of each of these statements, okay? Okay. okay. I need, advantages. Okay, that's what I want you to tell me. And now we are going to jump to the next 
activity. Okay. Now, we got a conversation here. We have to read the conversation between Bob and Daisy. They are discussing the option of hiring a 2PL provider for their sub business. Okay, guys, let me just get you a picture. So you can have it. Perfect. There you go. There is no more room in our house for more of your organic soup. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called third party logistics on Google. The service could help you out with the storage. I don't think I don't think so, Bob. As far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third party service. To the best of my knowledge, the soap is selling like crazy. And I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Choose a couple of those companies from the internet and then we can call them to get some advice. I repeat. There is no more room in our house for more of your organic soap. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called third party logistics on Google. The service could help you out with the storage. I don't think so, Paul. As far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third party service. To the best of my knowledge, the soap is selling like crazy and I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Choose a couple of those companies from the internet and then we can call them to get some advice. Okay, guys, I send you the text, I send you a short audio. And right now I'm sending you to the groups. You're going to be working the same groups, okay? So please hurry up, practice for minutes. To the best of my knowledge, this soap is selling like crazy, and I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Choose a couple, couple 
of those company from the internet and then we can call them to get some advice. There is no more room in our house for more of your organic soup. Don't you think it is time to take business out of the house? I found something called, called third party logistic and Google. This service could help you out with the storage. I don't know things so well. As far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third party service. To the best of my knowledge, the soup is selling like crazy, and I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the package. Choose a couple of those companies for the internet, and then we can call them to get some advice. There is no more room in our house for more of the organic soup. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called the party logistic on Google. The service will help you out with the storage. I don't think so, Bo. As far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third party service. Enough, enough. No. no. Sorry, teacher. Uh, uh, what is the pronunciation? The soap or soup? Soap. 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 Okay. Is the one that you drink. Ah, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, to the best of my knowledge. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hello. <laughs> we were reading like four, four. or five times each one. <laughs> no problem. It's okay. almost time. Let's see, we're just going to wait for everybody to come back. Okay, let's see. Anna Claudia, you and your partner, please. Okay. Who starts? You start. Oh, okay. Marcela. So there is no more room in our house for more of your organic soap. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called third party logistic on Google. This service could help you. This service could help you out with the storage? I don't think so, Bob. As far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third-party service. To the best of my knowledge, the shop is selling like crazy, and I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging, choose a couple of those companies from the internet, and then we, we can call them to get some advice. Okay, perfect. Let me see. Okay. 
enough, enough, big enough. Okay, Marcel. Thank you. Jose Wilfredo and Rebecca. Jose Wilfredo, you start. Okay. No more. Okay. There is more, there is no more room in our house for more of your organic soup. Don't you think it is time to take business out of the house? I found something called third party logistics on Google. This service could help you out with the storage. I don't think so, Bob. As far as I know, the business is not big enough to, to hire a third party service. To the best of my knowledge, the soup is selling, selling like crazy. And I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking about searching to the packaging. Choose a couple of those companies from the internet and then we can call them to get some advice. Okay. Let's see, Mr. Osorio. Hi, teacher. You are working with? Nicolas, Nicolas, right? Perfect, you are going to start. Okay, teacher. There is no more room in our, our house for more of your organic soap. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called third party logistic on Google. This service could help you out with the storage. I don't think so, Bob. As far as I, I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third party service. To the best of my knowledge, uh, the soap is selling like crazy, and I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Choose a couple though, of the companies from the internet, and then we can call them to get some advice. Call them, call them. Call them. Call Perfect, them. thank you. Call them, correct. Thank you. Frank, who was your partner? Sorry, Walter. Okay, Frank, you are going to start. Okay. There is no more room in your house for more of your organic soap. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called third party logistics on Google. This service could help you out with the storage. I don't think so, but as far as I know, the business is now being now to hear a third party service. To the best of my knowledge, the soap is selling like crazy, and I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually a tracking of all sourcing and companies from the internet, and then we can call them to get some and advice. Okay. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Just a couple of those companies from the internet. Okay, got it? Okay, thank you. Okay, let's see, Maria Alejandra. You and Wilfredo, right? Yeah. Okay, Wilfredo, you start. Okay. There's no more room in our house for more of your organic soup. Don't you think it is, um, excuse me, teacher. Don't you think it is time to take business out of the house? I found something called their party logistic on Google. 
the service could help you out with the storage. I don't think so, Bob. As far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third party service. To the best of my knowledge, the soup is selling like crazy. And I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Choose a couple of those companies from the internet and then we can call them to get some advice. Internet, Maria Alejandra. Internet, remember? Internet. I explain that. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Nuria and Stephanie. Okay, teacher. There is no more room in our house for more of your organic soap. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called third party logistics on Google. This service could help you out with the storage. I don't think so, Bob. As far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third party service. To the best of my knowledge, the soap is selling like crazy and I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking about sourcing the packaging. Choose a couple of those companies from the internet and then we can call them to get some advice. Okay, perfect. Roxana and Marta. Roxana, you will start. Okay. There is no more room in our house for more of your organic soap. Don't you think if it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called three-party logistic on Google. This service could help you to, sorry, this service could help you out with the storage. I don't think so, Bob. As far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a three-party service. To the best of my knowledge, the shop is selling like crazy. And I believe it. I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging to a couple of those companies from the internet, and then we can call them to get some advice. Excellent, ladies. Thank you very much. Now, next exercise, let's see. Next exercise belongs to page number 21, exercise three, pair work with the conversation again and answer the questions. Are Bob and Daisy having problems to start their products? Number two, do they know a lot about three PLs? Number three, do you think Bob and Daisy will consider prices when hiring a three PL? Now, I will send you to the groups. You are going to answer these questions, but I want explanations, okay? Not just, yes, I do, no, I don't. I want to know why, okay? Okay, groups are created. Please jump in.
Marta, they are not sending you to a group. Sorry, teacher, in this moment. It could help us to sell more. Yeah, I, I, I think the same. Maybe they don't have a big problem to store, to store the product. And what do you, what do you think about the, the second one? Do they know a lot about three PLEs? Wow. What does it mean PL is? They are discussing the option of hiring a is third party or the third party service. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Third party service. Mm. <laughs> they know a lot. Maybe do they know a lot? No, maybe they, they, don't, they don't know a lot about the third party service. What do you think about? Why do you say so? Why? Because uh, Daisy says, I don't think so. But as far as I know, the business mm -hmm. is not is not big enough. Mm -hmm. So they haven't had first hand experience, right? Yeah, uh -huh, maybe. Uh -huh. I think that Daisy is thinking. Oh, no, that's not correct. I'm kidding, Mariana. I'm kidding. I'm going. Just to see if you are paying attention. Yes, I think I feel like a zombie, but it's. How long they must go? Maybe she thinks it's expensive. What? Hmm? We're talking about why Bob and Daisy have to consider prices. We think that and she will be pointing on that. <laughs> we talk about that. Obvious, obviously, they had to consider prices. Because maybe Anna Claudia said that maybe she thinks that it's expensive, an expensive service, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe so she thinks so. We think that both are look for, I don't know, for good service, but also a good prices. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, and remember, it's not like a, a big company. Mm -hmm. Yes. Remember but... that um, they are they are in the first step. They are moving it out of the house. So mm -hmm. it was an in-house company, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 That we thought. And we already resolved mm -hmm. the, the three questions, did you? Okay, I'll recall everybody in exactly uh, a minute and a half, okay?
Okay, let's see, everybody's coming back. Teacher, Perfect. I have a question. Yes. When yes. would be the would be the last class, teacher, from this course? Until March. Oh. I'm sorry. The last class of this course is uh, February the 28th. 28th? Yeah. Really? Yeah. 28th. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It thank you. It started January the 25th and it will end February the 28th. It appears on the email they sent you. You can check it out. Okay, thank you, teacher. No problem. Okay, let's see. The first question goes like this. Are Bob and Daisy having problems to store their products? Yes, no, why, Roxana? Well, I think that, uh, yes, they have a problem with um, Sorry, with uh, their product because they don't, there is uh, not enough space in, in, their, in their house to continue with uh, the same storage. Okay, perfect. The same storage space. Okay, the same area. storage space. Okay, perfect. thank you. Thank you. Number two, do they know a lot about trippy else? Yes, no, why? Uh, Jose Wilfredo? In my point of view, no. Because... From, from my point of view. Uh, from, my point of, from my point of view, no. Uh, the question was, do they know a lot about three PLs? I guess that Daisy doesn't know a lot about the topic because she uh, doubts. Yeah, she doubts. Doubts. Yeah, she doubts uh, about her one third party service. Okay, perfect. Thank you. The third one says, do you think Bob and Daisy would consider prices when hiring a 3PL? That question is for you, Ana Claudia. Yes, no, why? Please explain. Okay. Uh, we've been discussing with uh, in the group that, uh, yes, of course, they will be considering prices when hiring a 3PL, but it's because they don't know a lot about how the business goes. Mm -hmm. And of course okay. they would be looking for and they'll consider the prices. And I work in, in my job teacher, uh, I sell products. My product is uh, for this type of business. And I can tell you that the cheapest service, the major risk <laughs> they can find. I can imagine. Okay, guys, this is going to be fast. Do you consider yourself to be healthy? Why? Okay, we still got a couple of minutes, so we're going to use it. Please jump into the groups.
So, uh, in for my point of view, I consider it so so healthy because I love to make uh, exercise, but I love the junk food. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, teacher. Uh, that... Actually, you do the two extremes, right? A lot of exercise, yeah. a lot of junk food. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And they meet. Uh, <clears throat> and until moment, and uh, I had no problems. I had no problems. And 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 my weight is, is around uh, uh, 80 kilograms okay mm -hmm. you are over yes around in my estatura height no yep hi Mm -hmm. My height is is one fifty six meters. Okay. One twenty fifty meters. Soy pequeñito. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> and my weight is around. You, Roxana? Sorry. How tall are you? One meters point. I think 50, 53, uh -huh. I'm not sure. Okay, how much do you weigh, Roxana? The last time that I did it, I remember that it was be honest, 100, be honest. 134. Hmm. That's okay. No, actually I think I don't think so. I was talking with Jose that I'm not a healthy person because I don't do exercise and I eat whatever that I, I have in my house. Yeah, well, almost all of us are like that. I do exercise, but I eat a lot. And let's see, I am wasting 150 something. 54, uh -huh. 55. But you are, uh, you but are thin? I am 172. Okay. I 1 meter, 72 centimeters. When I will, eh, ¿cómo, ¿cómo sería? Cuando yo tenga esa edad. When I will turn. No, no sé. Okay. When I... When, when I turn I your will. age, uh -huh. when, when your I age. turn your age, when I turn, turn your age, well, when I turn your age, I think that I am so fat. <laughs> How old are you, Roxana? 31. Ah, you are young. Yeah, a little no. cute. Ah, uh -huh, a little cute. Uh-huh. You see, Roxanne, little kid. No. There you are. <laughs> no, ya no. How old are you, Jose? Uh, 35 years, teacher. Oh, come on. Man. I, am, I am 35. <laughs> come on, I'm 42. <laughs> I am an old man. <laughs> I am an old man. <laughs> you see all, you, do you see all this white hair I got here? Excuse me, teacher. Do you see all the white hair? I'm old. Let's see, am I missing? Yeah, I am still missing two, I guess. Well, guys, for tomorrow, I'm going to start the class with that question, asking each one of you, okay? So keep it in mind because that's going to be tomorrow's topic.
the first topic we are going to deal with. Now, let me please get the final attendance. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present, teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Erwin Francisco López Rojas. Present, teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Soto. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Anabelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present teacher. Noria Elizabeth López Perlera. Present teacher. Rebeca Jasmine Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Billman Frank Figueroa Peñato. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Marcela Noemí Batres Montarrosa. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Hey guys, thank you very much. I expect to see you tomorrow on time. Have a good night. Enjoy it. Good night. Please Thank use you. the platform. Bye bye. Use the platform. Good night. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. We have to finish until the midterm. Yes. Okay. Including the midterm. Okay, perfect. It's done, teacher. Thank you. No problem. Thanks to you. Good night, teacher. Bye. Bye. Well, Moody, I told you yesterday you were supposed to stay tonight.
Well, time's up. See you tomorrow.